Welcome back. Here I have Teen Angels 112. Break Your Promise. I already flipped through this magazine and it's a good one, man. Let's get to it. Here I have, man, opening the, on, on the back of the front cover, you got a little cartoony guy that looks like a, the Precious Moments characters, but all gangstered out. You have right here, Little Daddy's Boy, um, Future Teen Angels dedicated to Johnny Boy. I think right here it says East Side, Metro 13, 213. Los Locos, from Tu Padre y Niño, Mr. Priest, El Shy Boy, Met Metro um, 3CE, Montebello, 213, Greenwood. Man, such a already heavily gang-affiliated drawings, man. On the right side, we have like another cover, Teen Angels, Cry, Cry Baby, with a little parrot guy right here. And man, the dedications pages are really good. Look at those cartoony characters. Look at their pants. Look at all the folds. Look at the guy's shirt. Their hair. Super cool. Here we have another dedications with the, just the rose and the heart. But even the heart has um, all the stippling inside of it. And then the rose has a different kind of shading on it. Really cool. Another cool, very cool stationary art on the bottom says, fill out this page, send with the $5 to Teen Angels P.O. Box, and then I guess they'll print it later. And if you look at the top left, you see like the sun it has a eye patch and a mustache. That's really funny, dude. Um, Just really creative. The woman really nicely shaded in. I uh, can't really tell too much what's going on, but I think she's sitting on an uh, ink bottle and and on a mushroom and she has like a brush and a, like those old school pen those cool pens and a tattoo machine surrounded by more mushrooms a butterfly roses and on the right side there's a girl's face cool little you know so many things to look at down here another one damn dude so hardcore teen angels magazine yeah, just a gangster lady with her stuff out, all like that. Oh, right here. I didn't notice this, but um, it looks like there's a lake and the moon and like the woods all around. This is like a gangster style of a, a Bob Ross painting from my point of view. Here we get to the first pictures. On the left side, you have, starting from the top left, you have Carnales number one, 92. And then on the top right, you have Mexicano 100%, Ruben, RIP, Contra, 19th Street, SF. On the bottom left, you have Largo and Chubby, Lado Sur, Reseda. And on the bottom right, you have, what does it say? Pacas 13. With Freddy Boy 1 and Toker 1. On the right page you have Largo and Chewy from Bersita 13. On the top right you have Sureños um, 13. Freddy, Toker y Conejo. Mm, I think that's about it. On the left down here you have Soy Loco Frosty. The can't really read that name and then it says oh the clps i don't know what that is then you got orco i think that's what it says malo bugsy slash droopy solo east side michigan the first um gangsters really cool some more um pictures i believe these are the pen pals people looking for pe people to write to them at least some of them. This guy has an address. This guy has an address. Some of these are really funny. You have um, El Mosco Loco y Que. And on the top you have 
just homeboys. Fene, Raven, Indio, Drifter, West, 3CE, Casper, Indio. The R, I'm assuming, stands for Rifa, but who knows? You got more dedications. And Loma, Linda, California. Letters to Teen Angel. Snoopy characters with um, a, a gangster dude. Another really cool um, cartoony guy right here. More stationary art. Super cool, man. And these two look like they're really simple. You know, just um, very little shading. More about the line work, the line art. And this is just um, on the left side, mostly instructions from Teen Angel on, or he's just encouraging to send in your photos. Uh, that was really interesting is down here. It says, for $5, your photo will come out in black and white. For $25, your photo will come out in color. But then the magazine, the magazine is only worth $6.95. So you're paying 25 bucks to get your picture in color in here. And then the magazine costs less than your picture just um i don't know different costs for the production of the magazine how to send in photos how to send dedications how to send gang art how to order books pen pals in prison more stationary art dedication and on the right side you got on the top it says tr AE love or true love and some really cool drawings on the right side I love the hair man that really does it for me on the left side you have um, art Isandra for from Moreno Valley Right here you have Metro 13 LS. On the top you have Loco. Loco X3 Wanted. Hmm. On the right side you got Warlock. Lil Warlock from Fresno. He has two drawings in here. Lil Warlock, Fresno, Bulldog, East Side. Oh, this is a really cool drawing right here. Again with the cartoony character. Love that little dude. Stationary Arte. Oh man, I love this one. The hair kind of covering her eye with the sombrero. It's got the cool necklace on the right side. No sombrero, but the hair is really cool. The eyes, the cheeks, the lips, the nose. Really cool drawings. You have this chick right here. The artist is Samuel Luna. You can P.O. box that food from Represa, California. And yeah, really cool shading on the drapery. And I think they cut it out because they kind of, it looks like it kind of got cut all the way around. I kind of wanted to see what was on top of her head. Maybe she had feathers, but that's really cool. I think she's covering herself with the Mexican flag. Yeah, dude, that's a really um, pretty cool drawing. On the right side, you have an article by Teen Angels on the top, on the top right. It says, American Me, made in Japan. And it's just talking about how the American me is just shows the gangster side of Chicano gangs and it's giving Chicanos Chicano gangs a bad reputation and it just plays in more into the stereotype when Chicano gangs are maybe a lot more than just that movie. And so Teen Angels is just bashing on Japanese media and Jap Apparently right here, um, Teen Angels is informing the reader that the Japanese financed the movie. And so they're, they're saying American Me is Japanese owned, foreign owned, and um, they have their own agenda in the, the movie. That's what it says, man. Then down here you have 18, right? I think this is a 1 and an 8 over here, 18th Street, really cool drawing.
And then on the left side, pen pals, meet new friends, find true love, romance, happiness, marriage. You have um, El Triste, the 39th Street, the south side, Chicos, Malos, 13. Um, you got Robert Figueroa. You got Loco Billy. You have El Bozo, the west side, Wilmas. El Spadas, the EMF. As a Joker, the EMF. You got Robert Falls, single white male. Edward Valenzuela. Um, James Cantley, another white male. Ex gang member doing 14 years in New Mexico needs kind letters. La Lonely Girl. Zara Escamilla in Mount Vernon, Washington. You got Brent Bell, age 19, lives in Yucaipa, California. Wants to help out others, please write. That's really cool, man. I want to know the story of um, people actually found true love and got married from the Teen Angels um, pen pal section. And then on the right side, you have the color um, pictures. You have in loving memory. No, loving memories. Should be lovely memories. Griselda con su Jaime. You got March 18, 1992 on, on the date. And you have Westside, Westside Harpies Gang 1. That's pretty cool. Mr. Raccoon and Jackie. The bottom left, dude, this one's really cool. You have like a young person, young teen. Their hair, they have like the 80s hair. The posters on the wall, the bunk beds. And then right here you have a little bit of writing. It says La Zadie, Droopy, con el Chico. Uh, el Dreamer con... La Morena, can't really read it too much. Her sweater, I think it says La Chacha, but I'm not too sure. This is really cool, man. And then this one right here, Art, Sandra, and Isaiah from Moreno Valley. Super cool. And then onto the next page, you got on the top left, Whittier 13. You got Chai Toro 2 and Looney DKS. On the no, that was top left. Now on the top right, you got um, Chiquito. That's what it says on the bandana of the character. And again, a really cool precious moments type um, character. Really cool. The shading is really cool. It looks like it's stippling. Not too sure. Bottom left, you got Luis Renteria from California. They had Chapi, Mr. Johnny Hernandez. From Ontario, California. Moving on to the next page, you got. Um, dang, can't really read that. It says something shorty por vida. Miss Chinita number one, the six side San Pedro Sur Harbor area, 310 area code, aka Tina Tree, 13. Tina Tree or Tina Cree? I don't know. Cree. Down here, you, have, you got Crazy Ass Angel, La Nena number one. Then some crazy writing right there. Again, really cool. I love this one, how you can see the whole outfit. And right here, the centerfold. Beautiful. I love the cartoony style, man. And down here, it says Mecho, Wilmas, and signature from Teen Angel with a happy face. You have... One, two, three, four, five, five different couples, but you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different flags in the background. All just representing, I think it's representing Spanish speaking places that are found here in the USA. And I love all the little details. She's got the roses on her shoes. This right here, the old, old school stereo boombox. I think they're drinking they got this um, and then right here it says say no to bud bud light I don't know maybe there's some some kind of controversy with bud light right here and then in the middle you got the Japanese flag with the dagger going through it dude freaking um, you know I think in the next pages it'll explain a little bit more why um, 
on the t-shirt the guy saying buy american you know no more japanese stuff just american bashing on japan and yeah on the top teen angels readers united and powerful super cool man this is a really cool drawing i'm gonna go over to the next page that was one hell of a centerfold man on the top left you got patty loves birdie sherman birdie loves patty baby <laughs> and this one says griega um locote mr sleepy by four no sleepy by griegos or by griegos the greeks and yeah, I just got a TLC, T's number one. Selma Alvarado from El Monte. Arthur and Sandra from Moreno Valley. Weasel and Smiley. California Ike. Little Psycho number one. <laughs> the little baby. Uh, what does it say? Miss Daddy. Miss You Daddy of El Cyclone. Eastside Little Valley CYS. February 92. P.S. Love your mommy um, and dreamer. Isa Little Valley Diablitas. What? Crazy. From your son, Lil Psycho. Yeah, just a really funny little picture. The last of the colored pictures. You got Suicide, Mid City Stoners, Hobart, Grandis 1, Vario Mid City 1, Sureños 1, Mid City. Yeah. This is really cool. Um, this whole page is Mid City Stoners. You got $100 worth of pictures right here. Crazy. And. Uh, yeah, right here you have. Dedications to my baby doll, Maria Rojas. Mm. Dear Teen Angel Reader supporters, La Aurora number two, Boulder Avenue, Modesto. We sell tel we sell Teen Angels. Little cool little Teen Angel character. Here's another um, letter from Teen Angels to the readers, explaining how basically. People bash on Teen Angels for promoting gangs and violence, but Teen Angels was saying we're promoting unity within the gangs, and all these reporters are just um, kind of getting it wrong. And again, they go with the Japanese. Um, Why are you guys Jap bashing? And he's saying how Japanese are just trying to cause more division within the Chicano community and teen angel wants to just um support the gang the gang culture oh yeah and he's also um explaining why he has soldiers soldier propaganda in his in his um magazine and teen angel just explains how you know the army is positive it does um teaches positive things and to get off his back and here we go with the Green Angels section of the magazine. Here are um, soldiers, Army and Air Force, hometown, new service. You got Private Sammy Vasquez Jr. And it says Vasque Vasquez is the son of Maxine R. and Sammy C. Vasquez of Corona. The private is a 19 1989 graduate of Corona Senior High School. On the bottom here you have Private Javier P. Gonzalez. Completed his basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, Montana. And yeah, this is a, the private is a 1991 graduate of Colton High School. And uh, right here, Teen Angels Magazine strongly encourages all young people who are looking for a good career to check out the great opportunities available for the Army, Air Force, Navy, and U.S. Marine Corps. And yeah, positivity. Here you have more dedications 
Man, the cartoon drawing on the top left. Super cool, man. También this one right here. Can't really read it because it's kind of tiny. What? Right here on the top, you have a mermaid drawing. 18th Street. RPK. You have a, this cool little uh, line drawing from Fresno. You got just more dedications. And more dedications. Right soon, and, and a little teddy bear tied to a chair. Or else, from Patrick Chegas from Represa, California. You have some right here. Little teddy bears. And we're getting near the end. More dedications. It says um, VF 14 crossing out Norte, Tulare County. Some cool bubble letters up there. Some more stationary art you can cut out. Some more dedications, or just some cool drawings in general. This one has a cross, looks like they're at a graveyard. To those lonely ladies, 18 years and over, looking for pen pals, I believe. You got a Bart Simpson, uh, you have a Bart Simpson on the top right, that's really funny. It says, Bart goes gangster. You have a huge 18th street right here, and then um, priest. Cool drawing on the top left and the whole um, little sidewalk scene right there in memory of Joel Corrales. Then right here you have, can't really read it, but really cool drawing. Here you have, yeah, really cool drawing, side profile. The, late, the cartoons got curves. On the top left you have a huge BML. And I think it says, I don't know what this word is. I think it says San Joe Controla Norte. And Siempre Verde right here. Chico Smokey, Pollito, RIP, Ever, Evergreen Gang. Right here you have. Um, yeah, more, a, a lot more cool writing right here. Dead End Locos. I think this is East Side 213, Michigan, Michigan 1, no, Michigan Avenue, 1st Street, I believe. Cool drawing, DSE Ocho, this one really stands out from the rest. And you got Tweety Bird, the little character right there. Standing on the sidewalk by the lamppost, really funny. Young boys, Rifamos 13, Los Cyclones. Pretty cool name. RBS, Rebel Boys. You got Trusty Trouble, Dusty Crow. Um, hefty, Happy, Dusty. You have OFAC, Bunny Rip, um, Scan One, out for. Uh, out for Action Kings. And right here, really cool um, line drawings, man. From Lil Warlock. Sick ass name. Lil Warlock from Fresno East Side. Bulldog. Then right here you have Gina, OFAC, Scan, OFAC, Out for Action Kings and Queens in memory of my babe, Sandra Vargas. Scan, OFAC. Bunny R.I.P. I like this a um, little bit more um, graffiti style writing. This one's really cool. On the top you got Santa Monica 13 LLs. Don't know what that means. And all the little characters right there. Damn. So cool. I think up here it says Mousy and Cranky. 
just a bunch of cool little characters and then on the bottom left you have something from whisper from pbs los playboys suicide oh this one's really cool man the like the characters are really well drawn the shading is good the point of view from the, from the viewer you look like you're at the you know you you look like you're there and you can see the really cool perspective how it kind of you see the foreshortening a really cool scene a really cool drawing and then moving on you got pen pals pacas you got mr something pacas something here you have Norte 14, Super Gangster Dude. Then on the right side you have this drawing is dedicated to my homegirls to my homegirl Rachel. Super nice by Sergio. And that was it. And then on the back, Tambien, pretty sick. Um, right here you have just a really cool badass old school drawing. The words that most stand out is right here by Max One Ruiz, Del High Santana, Orange County Trece. Right here on the bottom, Joe. I'm assuming the FT stands for F Troop OC Santana. Right here you have Puro Sur Trece y que crossing out the 14 and crossing out the Norte. Um, on the top is right here it says Max DH again for Del High OC Sur. You have on the left side, Lil Ray, SF. I don't know what it means, but then you have Pelon, west side, WF Los, assuming that's white fans. You got Big Wero, Bell Gardens, Lil Duck, um, Sotel 13, Jerry, Kuka, Fred, JMV. And yeah, just a bunch of names from a bunch of different places. And yeah, super cool. This is like one of the better ones that I have. Um, now, if you saw my other, I think issue number 100, I think that one was missing a centerfold. That makes me pissed, dude, because if I'm buying a Teen Angels, it's got to have the centerfold. Now I know it's colored picture, black and white picture, and then the centerfold, back to the black and white, back to the colored picture. I think um, issue number 100 is missing the centerfold and it only goes from colored picture to black and white back to colored picture and I don't know if um, if it's missing the centerfold or not but that you know it's hard to know because it's my first time getting the magazine but whatever sick ass magazine number 112 peace.